Crossover back to Nairobi, where Deputy President William Ruto is currently speaking at the burial um, mass of the late Archbishop Emeritus John Jenga. Let's listen in. Read him as a selfless person. Even as I grew up, I didn't know that uh, one day Bishop Njenga would be schoolmates with my son, George. Because George went to Mangu. Although they were schoolmates, they were 70 years apart. <laughs> but I don't know even whether I'd ask my son George to be a priest, whether he would agree. <laughs> but again, let me say that having read what I have read about his being a selfless person, I have again seen that 50 years ago, in 1968, Bishop Njenga had a conversation with the then Minister for Education, uh, Dr. Kiano. And I think even as we celebrate his life today, we need to revisit that discussion that was there between the state and the church, especially on matters to do with the integrity of our education and the morality of our children. I think that discussion is a discussion that we need to revisit so that again, we can manage our education better and we can train our children with the highest standards of morality and integrity. And I hope that that discussion from the church side, I know there are discussions already in that direction. I do not wish to say more than that. We have here many leaders. I just want to request all the governors, senators, members of parliament, MCAs to stand up so that we can recognize you. Wasimame. Asante Nisana. And then we have other government officials who are here, head of public service and all the other members of provincial administration all the way down. If they are here, they can stand up. We recognize them. Asante Nisana. Uh, I have requested His Excellency the President to donate half a minute of his time to our Mze um, Mudiawari, our former